my situation after the car accident. My full name is Wilson Nenezi Sanchez. I am from Colombia. I am 25 years old. When I was a child, I was run over by a car. After those horrible instants, I fell in a state of coma during almost one month and a part of my brain was destroyed by hits and severe injuries in my head during the accident. In that state of coma, I had a dream or hallucination. In that delirium state, I was flooring in the hair and I wore a white tunic. I was in a large room in form of put the sack. The room was fully dark and it had 50 wooden doors. There is 25 doors to the right and 25 doors to the left and each door had a silver knob in that high conscious state. I wanted to know what had behind each door. Then I decided to open all doors one after another separately and ask who is there after opening the first door. I opened the others, a ray of light came through each door and a very a pure loud voice replied, nobody. Then the room changed from a full darkness to a full light. So I took the decision of closing the fresh shawl in front of, of me and I found myself a beautiful forest in the forest was a large wooden table covered with a white table cloth. There was a, a plenty of food of all kind on the table. There were also some white glasses containing wine. There were also two large wooden benches beside the table and I saw much food there, but I was not hungry. In the forest, I found a long, dry rusted pathway, and I walked on it. Then I found a bad plain where rested the big red sun. Near the plane was the sea, and I was walking over the sea. I was afraid because I fell off if I walked on the sea. I could submerge myself, and I would not emerge anymore. But I crossed the sea after that I found a red mountain of ice which is called Nevada in Latin America. When I was there I was not good and I walked on that mountain and then I went to that place suddenly appeared a brother of my father who had died five years before had happened the car accident. 
My uncle was disabled. When he appeared falling, he was wearing a white tunic, and he called me by signs. I wanted to go to where he was, but an harum gentleman appeared. He was wearing a white robe, and he told me, I give you your life, be a God servant, and in your life will never find anything in this existence and in the next one. I found that time I was horribly disconnected from the artificial life. Certainly I could breathe by myself. Then my mother decided to take me home so that I could pass away there because I was very ill. I was totally paralyzed. I only weighed 29 kilograms. I could not eat in order to take my foot. The doctors had connected me to some problems as well as in order to make my physiological needs. My family was distraught because it lasted almost a year with me in that situation and I didn't have improved then my parents decided to take me to a healing mass when the priest was conservating the host in that mass my family prayed for me. In that moment, I stood up from the shell where I was sat. I took a few by myself and I fell down to the ground. Some weeks later, I started talking and walking. I continue doing everything by myself today. I have very good health right now. I'm studying bachelor in English as a foreign language at the Open and Distance National University. Or not. And I am full of enthusiasm because I get better more and more every day with the will of God.